<laughs> right into the outlander. <laughs> 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 If you cannot tell, we're going riding this morning. We headed over to Cody's house. We got old Sam. Where is he? We got Sam back behind us with the old Polaris. It is so early in the morning. <sighs> I feel like sh But guess what? We got the freaking Outlander back, boys. She's all ready to rip. Just need some gas, and we're gonna be good to go. Sam, you cut your freaking hair? Why? Dad, govet. You of all people, I would have expected a big ass mullet. <laughs> If you guys don't remember, we actually took Ducky to uh, Performance East to get that thing fixed for old Cody, and now I gotta take it back to him. Grayson's gonna be excited. Is the old Polaris still running, my guy? Yeah, it's still going good. Still running, I can't believe it. Diego, you ready to ride, dog? Dude, I am. I've been a minute What now. is on the back of your truck? Look, it's not mine. Everybody, all the comments say, get an 850, get an 850. So everybody was like, you know, take my 850. You like it? You can buy one. So we're going to lightly abuse it. Today. Lightly abuse it. Okay, we're I got it. test it, make sure, you know, it's what we want. <laughs> well, boys, we have made it. Oh, boy. What is going on, Kyle? Back, baby. Woo, she's looking fresh. Looking fresh, ain't she? Fresh unit, man. Performance is hooking y'all. Uh-huh, got Ducky all fixed. Hey, you haven't seen this. Oh, I heard about it. Oh, you heard about it? Hold on. It looks good. No more John. Yeah, no more, no more John. Hi, John. Hi, John. How you doing today? Oh, board. <laughs> SS Ducky. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Grayson. Ducky's back. Ducky's back. You got to come check it out. What did we do? Turn the key and look at it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All aboard, SS Ducky! Oh, <laughs> Ducky! <laughs> I told man put Grayson on there, and he calls me. He's like, "Hey, man, I don't know if you're gonna like this. We can take it off if you don't." But and then he told me what he put. She is going to love. I that. love it. Oh, that's way more creative than I could have been. What a great idea, boys! Stay tuned. We're going riding. Boys, we got the squad rolling up, son. Y'all gotta check out this renegade that just pulled up. Just bad. Now that is bad oh kyle's itching to get on the trail oh we're gonna get in some mud i am so happy to be back on the outlander boys oh it's been a minute well guys if you're just tuning in i guess i really haven't done an intro yet we got kyle's 850 out snorkeled she's good to go we got sam on the 850 high lifter uh, 850 sportsman on some uh, outlaws grayson on ducky the 570 the 2020 renegade and a 2018 renegade and we got a brute force on the way one two three four five six seven we'll have eight four wheelers hell yeah what Barely. I about ran out of fingers. I love the rear rack on that thing. That thing's sexy. I ain't gonna be able to follow the Can Ams. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, first ride back on the Outlander in like over a month. Kyle's itching to get out on the trail, so we're leaving them. The suspension on that thing's so soft, it really does help keeping traction when you're popping a wheelie. So I got the Outlander tuned, exhaust, everything done. One ride, blew the diff up. You guys, whole backstory on that. There's plenty of videos explaining that, you know, it it was a bad situation. It actually broke this thing here on these trails. So we gotta see if it'll redeem itself. The suspension's really stiff compared to Kyle's, bro. Like I actually, I got on Kyle's, oh boy. I got on Kyle's and that thing's so smooth. Who do we got with us? We got the Polaris is following. We got the Polaris. Is. No, no braking stuff today. We got to break the Polaris. Yeah, break These guys aren't full cinders though, so. What? 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 Uh, 
Huh? Yeah, dude. We're gonna have to detail the hell out of this thing when we're done. Look, he's already stuck. What? Who's stuck? He's already stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that that's everybody? We good to go? Look at those tail lights, son. Yes, sir. Let's go. Sorry, Sam. I kind of feel bad. It's so worth it, though. Boys. Oh my gosh. Me and Mac got a four wheeler. <laughs> I've been in the X3, and granted, it's been fun. It ain't nothing like a four wheeler, though. We might be going to McDonald's. We might be going to abandoned golf course. I don't know, bros. But the day's gonna be a good freaking day. Let's plow some trees over, clear some trails. Yeah, the X3 going down this trail is a little tight. Not gonna front. This is the first place I took my X3. Yes, sir. I feel like a million bucks right now. <laughs> I can stay on the trail. <laughs> I don't know how hard I'm gonna be on this thing today. I didn't even wear waders. I'm in swimming trucks, son. I really do not want to break anything. But there's a lot of videos I gotta make with this thing before it's allowed to break. All performance D's, they got this thing up, done up right. I mean, literally showed up, knocked it out. They were doing the warranty stuff over the phone. I mean, just awesome people over there. Helped me out big time getting this thing up and going. Dude, today's gonna be a good day. You know why? Look, that thing's bad as hell. What? Sun has Sunday! Oh shit! <laughs> oh, we behind the ball oh, Polaris now. <laughs> Rest in peace, tire son. Coming up on a pretty good mud trail. I gotta put this thing in low before I burn up a belt. I've, I have yet, 200 miles on this thing, I've yet to have to put a new belt on it. I've smoked it up maybe twice, but oh well. My socks are officially wet and muddy, boys. This is a pretty good hole. Gotta be careful in this thing. Holy shit, those are some big frogs. All right, I'm gonna go up right there. Woo! I cheated a little bit. Oh, I love this four-wheeler. But I keep feeling like I gotta put the seatbelt on. But then I realize it's a four-wheeler. All right, time to go get his ass. All right, Diego. That's it, you're getting it. No more fun and games, boy. Oh, he doesn't even know. Oh, Diego's gonna get it today. I am not letting up. Ah, oh, so much for staying clean. Look at this man. Woo! Oh! He about lost it. Ah, oh, I feel so gritty. First time not wearing waders on a foiler in a long time, son. It is a dust bowl. My eyes are hurting. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, we just all we we got we're taking a train, son. The Polaris got stuck. The radiator's getting pretty 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 dirty. Come on, Polaris. Uh oh, Polaris can't do it. The old high lifter ain't making it. I'll have to send it. Come on, Sam. Let's see if the no nah, the 850 stock ain't got it. The Outlander ain't got it stock. Those little 28 Mayhems. That's how 
probably do it. I do gotta say, you got through it first try. Oh, we about to have a war, hole for hole for Can-Am and Polaris. There you are. Oh, you bottomed out so hard. If you did a good wheelie coming out of that thing, it'd get, get you from hanging up on the bottom back of your skid plate. Does not help, we already went through it. Good job, brother. We're the only two to make it successfully. Old Diego's riding his buddy's 850 on some 29 and a half inch outlaws. I do not think Diego's 570 would have had the guts to power through that son of a bitch like that. Yeah, let's go to the pipeline. I want to hit that water. Yeah. It's gotten bad. this thing hey somebody hook a rope to me let me get this thing out of here man i was having a great time in that hole What's, what happened to the uh, can am yeah it's definitely not that nothing up it just started sputtering i don't know like max and al redlining did you hear mine sputtering yeah yeah we were going we were backing up or what i was going forward it started sputtering and cutting out what do you think that, Kyle, what do you think the sputtering was? There's no way. You put all the uh, uh, X3 gas in here? It says it's no. <laughs> <laughs> Go get on it, see if she sputters out. Well, boys, I don't know what was going on. It just, it ain't never done that before. Go, go give it a test. You want to push? I was trying to go slow. Jump to the other side. tired uh, hole for hole let's go you first you first go on i'm giving you the rights to pick which holes
Ho ho for ho with Diego. Down in the creek, son. Woo! That was a good break, boys. But now it's McDonald's time. Everybody's hungry. Ah, oh, yes, that water, that creek felt so freaking good. I love this four-wheeler. Even if all the Can-Am hate was like real and true, I'd have me a spare. <laughs> so we're on the mud trail right now. Here's the pipeline with that deep water hole. We're heading to McDonald's. Kyle's starving, so we're going to McDonald's. We're just gonna go through the drive-through and hopefully get some uh, McLunch. Like how badass is it you can just go to McDonald's on the four-wheeler? So dusty. We just got out of the creek, now it's all gonna stick. Now I have only been to this McDonald's once during the night, but I remember it was a long haul there. Like we rode literally all night just to get there. I guess that's a little over exaggeration, but uh, we're definitely gonna see some cool stuff along the way. I love riding four-wheelers to like a destination instead of just ride, riding blindly until something breaks. It adds like a whole new aspect. Like it's a whole adventure to get to where you're going, which is just awesome. So I actually think the state owns all this land. I looked it up and it looked like the state owned all of it. Because we were, what we're riding on right now is all floodlands where they can't build on its useless land. And so uh, we turned it into something a little, a little fun. <laughs> Gotta love it. I hope my battery doesn't die on this adventure to McDonald's. So yeah, guys, we're not riding on anybody's private owned land. It's all state from what we can tell and the research we've done. But we're not the only ones out here. Like there's a huge community that comes out here and rides. Like people drive out here to ride. Not good though. They're trying to put a stop to that and they have put a stop to most of it. The locals like Cody who live on it, they still ride it. Is this an abandoned golf course? Abandoned golf course, you guys haven't even seen this yet. Golf course right here is a video by itself. Like, there's so much cool stuff. Like, these are all golf course trails. Like, the putting greens, there's golf balls everywhere. Kyle actually went out and bought a set of clubs just so they could hit golf balls out here. Like, it's sick. All the golf course ponds are still here, this creek. Where the hell did they go? I saw them come in. They went left. They went left. It's so sick out here. We're literally riding on what used to be a golf course. That, that is now abandoned. It's not, obviously it's not it's still here. All right, we found the rest of them it looks like. Like the ponds are here, look at this. The freaking walkways are still here. I mean, they're straight, oh, straight racetracks really. Yeah, we're definitely coming out here to hit golf balls one day. They drained some of the pond, so all the golf balls are still in the pond. And you can get to them by riding the four wheeler over. Is this pond getting drained? Looks like this pond's drying up. They drained the pond? Yeah, look at all the golf balls. I was so excited about riding this pond. Please do not hit me with that. <laughs> He's still hitting golf balls. <laughs> they used to, this used to be a good hole, and then they drained it. Oh, he got more golf balls. What is it? Is that a fish? Come on, Kyle. Oh, okay. Oh, there is a lot of fish. Look at them. Bro, those poor fish. That's a good, that's a big bluegill. Oh, look. <laughs> he, he's swimming off. Look at that big fish. Look at this one. Is that a bass? Bro, what is that? Yo, him. hold my hand. That's not gay or anything, but oh, if I slip, that's going to hurt. Yeah, you see him right there? That's not a bluegill. That's like a, what do they call those? Yeah, a creek chub. That's it. Or like a shiner. They must have stocked them in this pond. I know. Let me see them. Yeah, that's a creek chub, bro. I've never seen one in North Carolina. That's awesome. That's like the best thing for bass to eat. This pond's filled with them. Yeah. Look at all the freaking fish. That's crazy. All right, let's see it. You got my swing? Hell no. I go to Top Golf. That's about it. All right, furthest one. Holy shit. I thought that was All right, yep, that wasn't a good one. Where's my tea at? All right, yep, that's it. Let me hit this third one. Four. Okay, okay. There we go. All right. There you go, Bubba. Beat that one. Oh. 
Oh, dang! To the trees! Yeah, those trees. <laughs> oh, yep, didn't make it out the pond. ricochet, watch out, Braden. Hit a bird. <laughs> that makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah! Oh! One more. I probably killed a fish with that one. Come on, Cody. Four. Up oh, in the water. Oh, in the water. Diego would have got that first one, son. That went far. Oh, okay. That's a winner. That was a winner. We picked up a brute, a Honda. We got a Honda 420 and a brute force. Looks like that's it. We ready to ride, boys. Back on the trip to McDonald's. Hit some golf balls, seen some dying fish. Seen my first ever North Carolina Creek Chub. That's crazy. Oh, shit. It looks like he uh, came back in a wheelie too far. He's got some grass on his bumper. There we go. Look at that. I mean, it's running 20. Mine doesn't do that with the big 30s. Yeah, I remember the trail to McDonald's is a very muddy mess. Yep, like I said. Uh-oh, we got one stuck, boys. I want to go push him, but I feel like I'll get stuck trying to... There it is. Oh, Renegade, that thing's one bad machine. Come on with it, Grayson. Come on with it, Grayson. Put her in low. Yeah! Woo! Polaris. A50 high lifter. Okay, just send it. Send it. The brute stuck like normal. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> he got sideways coming into it. There it is. Yes, sir. Ow! <laughs> right into the outlander. <laughs> Mine. Is it good? I told you brutes run into everybody. Did I not call that? <laughs> the Mustang drivers. <laughs> the Mustang drivers of the four-wheeler world. Hit it with the 420. Oh, Honda. You're in two. You're in two. Hey, hey, you're in two. You're in two. Oh, shit. That'd be Miller right now. Yeah. <laughs> Two thousand years later. There it is. Ah, Diego. <laughs> Slow approach worked pretty good, son. Boy. All right, all right, we even now. Brady, you got a problem with me. I got a problem with you. You're so cute. Sorry, Maddie. <laughs> oh, Maddie. I'm pretty sure there's some more bad stuff along the way. Hopefully there is. I want to hit some more holes. You know, one thing nice about a helmet, when there's trees down in the trail, you just tuck your head and let them hit it. Oh. You want to push? You know, that was one thing I was real nervous about is me not wanting to push people out with my bumper, with the Can-Am and how expensive they are. But at the end of the day, you ain't pushing people out. You ain't doing it right. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah, we haven't even seen some of the bad stuff. We got a gnarly hill that we got to climb up. Like I was sketched out in the X3 and that thing's got a roll cage. So McDonald's trips turning into all kind of adventure, getting ran into, hitting golf balls. Guys, you literally have been smashing the videos recently. I mean, like 20,000 likes a post. Like we're literally averaging 20,000 likes a video. That is insane. I really wish, and with this, I've been trying to up the video quality while still being able to post every other day. But Miller's not here today. Miller's got a car shoot and he couldn't come out to film. I feel like today would have been one of them epic videos had a third person camera we could have made a movie out here <laughs> you 
Kyle. Choo choo! <laughs> oh my, <laughs> Kyle! Do you really have to do them like that? Yeah. I got you. <laughs> oh no. This is not fair. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> All right, I gotta be careful when I get behind Diego. He's out to get me now. I tried to get Kyle, but it looks like I mainly got Diego. I was trying to get both of them because I have beef with Diego from earlier, and then Kyle just messed up the guy that's been cleaning the camera all day for me. What is his name? Why am I so bad with names? We're almost to McDonald's. This is like the home stretch, but we do have some like extreme shit we gotta get through first. How are you guys liking this just like old style moto vlog where we don't have a third person camera? I feel like it's less quality, but more fun. Yo, the X3 up and down this place right here. Holy crap, that'd be fun. Is this the big bridge? I think it might be. Wow, you gotta love that exhaust under the bridge. Oh, nasty, son, nasty. <laughs> Look at him go. He's loving it. Living his best life, son. Like I said, this McDonald's trip has gotten a little out of hand. Look at this Four-wheel driving low, son. Four-wheel driving low. Look at this. <laughs> this better be some damn good McDonald's. Well, we creep through that. <laughs> wow, we're, we're doing pretty good. I don't think nobody's gonna get stuck in that. Ah. Uh. Yes, sir. Let's see if Diego's got it. Yeah, I think we pushed a lot of the hard stuff out. All right, I think we're almost to McDonald's. I know there's a sketchy part coming. That was kind of sketch. That off camber. Still on the way to McDonald's. Golly. It's a hell of a drop. <laughs> Sketchy with an extra sketch. <laughs> it's nice and slick, son. All right, boys, we are almost there to old McDonald's. I wasn't gonna get nothing, but as long as it took us to get here, I'm kinda hungry now. Oh, is this it? This is it, old son. <laughs> there she blows! <laughs> Diego, stop, stop, stop. You get the cops caught on us for sure. Let us get our food. <laughs> Just cutting donuts at the McDonald's. <laughs> Midday, people in line. I think you got a little excited. The cops are gonna roll and be like, did you do those? Uh, honey mustard. Do you think you can carry all the food? What? Do you think you're gonna be able to carry all the food? All right, boys, we're coming up to pay. <laughs> oh McDonald's right here son that's crazy <laughs> how did that get there oh shit. this is some Starts cutting donuts before we even get to the drive-thru. Alright, time to eat boys. Camera's going off. I'm so hungry. Holy shit, there's a baby deer! Where'd 
<laughs> no way! Oh my God. No way! Oh my God. <laughs> yes, sir! Oh Is that what they call catching the deer? <laughs> I cannot believe that. I want to take it home with me. It's okay, little dude. It's okay. You want to go for a ride on a four wheeler? Would you like to go for a ride on a four wheeler? You were the first ever deer to say you rode on a four wheeler and then it died. Whoa! Hey! Stop it, buckaroo! Do not bite me. Look. Look, little guy. Looky, looky. Stop it. Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody take my picture. Calm down, son. <laughs> His heart's beating 100 miles an hour. It's a her. You are just the cutest little thing. All right, does anybody want to pet him before I turn him loose? Grayson, do you want to pet him? Okay. <laughs> Run, little bubby. Thanks for the fun. I thought at first, I thought it was like a hedgehog or something. Well, no, everybody wanted a picture, and so we're coming up here into the stick stuff. Perfect bedding for deer. And there's just a little baby. Believe it or not, that's the first time I caught a baby deer. It's kind of crazy to say that. I figured I've done caught 10 by now. As often as I'm in the woods. I seen it jump up. I thought it was a hedgehog, so I was gonna go run it over. And as I got closer, I realized it was a baby deer, so I started corralling them around so I got them to stop. 